Hey everyone, it's Brenda here from Survival Crafts. Well, today is a nice warm spring day. Finally got an opportunity to get out and do some filming on tapping a birch tree. I know there's a lot of different videos out there where people are tapping birch trees and showing how to process it and whatnot. But Dave and I thought we would show a little bit of a different method. First of all, we wanted to show the traditional way that was done by my people, by the Métis people, um, <clears throat> just by simply using uh, parts of the birch itself in order to direct the flow of the sap down into the, the pot that we hung on it. So we'll be showing that process. Uh, but also, we're going to be showing yet another use for the Janaka band. So we took the opportunity to go out to my sister's property to do a little bit of filming which was a great location. There's not a lot of birch on her property, so we were sort of stuck for location and uh, had to choose an area that was a little bit close to a road. And unfortunately, because of the, the pretty heavy winds that were blowing the Chinook winds, you don't really see it in the film because we got a lot of close-ups and also we we're really, really sheltered from the wind, but boy, can you hear it. So what we decided to do instead of Dave talking through is we've taken all the sound out of the film itself and we're just going to offer a voiceover on there. So anyway, off to the film. Well, the first part here, you can see Dave is using the Janaka band to attach the, uh, the tin can or the metal can to the birch tree itself. Um, sorry about the uh, arm in the way, but we'll be, uh, you'll be able to see it uh, a lot clearer in the next few clips here. Now it really is easier <laughs> if you have somebody that can hold on to the can for you while you're tightening the band because it can sometimes slip out of your hands. It's a little bit awkward, but as you can see, it is totally doable by yourself, which uh, makes it an awesome, an awesome thing to actually use. So he's just tightening it around the tree and then he will use or take the opportunity to use the lower branch there in order to actually tie it off. And this system right here is really quite a secure one and, um, and works very well. Just up on the top, you'll notice hopefully in the next few clips, um, there is also a handle on there. And so coming up shortly, we'll show a clip of Dave um, adding uh, some string as well to the tree above. Now this is going to serve a couple of purposes. I know we have already shown the part where Dave has attached the, uh, the can to the tree itself, which is very secure. But this is very useful, which you'll see at the very end of the film itself. Uh, and it never hurts to have a little bit of extra security just since we are going to be leaving this for several hours and uh, then coming back to check it. So it's always a really nice idea to be able to secure it uh, a little bit extra. Uh, it's not necessary, I don't think, but we really felt it would probably be a good idea just because we're going to walk away for a good length of time. And so in this next clip, apologize for Dave's hand, but you'll uh, see in a moment he, as he moves his hand out of the way. But all he's doing is he's cutting into the birch tree itself, um, sort of making a little bit of a, almost a, a smile type of uh, cut into the tree itself. So he's not going in terribly deep, but he is going in through the bark and he's making a little smile there. And it's important to actually lift the bark a little bit to pull it away from the tree. And it doesn't take too long before you start to see the sap running. And this one is really producing quite well. So we're starting to get towards the end of being able to tap these trees because the nights are starting to get a little bit warmer. They're not quite so frosty anymore. And so once the trees really start to get the blood, the buds blossoming, then uh, the, the sap is, although it flows, it's not that terrific. So it, uh, it starts to taste a little bit bitter by then. So we're just taking a last opportunity before those buds start to blossom out. Now, in here, Dave is actually now lifting a section of the bark. Now he's not cutting quite so deep in this section. All he wants to do is simply 
lift up the bark. Even though those drips were falling into the pot, some of them were also missing and going onto the ground. And so what he's done here is lifted some of the bark and put a little bit of a twig underneath it to hold that bark open. And that way it redirects the flow of the sap and it doesn't take much really to get it to go directly into the, the little pot there. So it's a very effective way uh, without having to carry an awful lot of stuff along with you. And that stick seems to stay in really quite well. And we left this for quite some time um, to, uh, to let the sap run before we came back to collect it. And when we came back, of course, we want to release, release the Janaka band. And uh, you can see Dave taking it off. And when he lets go, he can, uh, he can pour in the, uh, the sack. We actually got quite a lot. I was surprised how much came out. Um, we tapped some last week and it didn't work so well. We didn't get nearly as much. But you can see the bucket sort of swinging there. And, um, and that's because it's tied up above. So it's a good idea to double tie it just so it leaves you a little bit more hands free when you do remove the Janaka band when, um, when it's actually full. And then you don't have to worry about it falling and spilling. So it's a little bit of double security there. As I mentioned, not necessary, but it certainly did help out quite a bit because I was behind the camera and uh, filming Dave, I couldn't really hold on to the bucket for him. So having that secure was, uh, was very helpful. And of course, once you've tapped a birch tree, you don't want to just leave the sap continuing to run and we decided we'd try a little bit of an experiment with the Janaka band to see if we could actually um, stop the, the flow of the sap, which it kept running for a little while, but eventually it did slow down and then completely stop. So um, we'll remove that tomorrow and, uh, and just uh, hopefully the tree is completely recovered there. Otherwise, we'll just put a little wood plug of some sort in there. But. Anyway, that is the process of using traditional methods along with the Janaka band. Okay, well that was it. Pretty quick and easy as you can see with the traditional methods. You don't really need to carry too much equipment around and hopefully you'll be able to tap some trees yourself. The next video we're going to be showing in our backyard where we'll be boiling that sap down so we can get some nice syrup out of it. Until next time, have a great day!